That looks pretty, right? It's hard. It is hard, but I think what we've got is like a really nice ground. And you might it might be better for you to leave it. And then like 10 minutes when it's dry, and it's just going to add that strength of colour in there. You might want to do some pencil more. Um, I'll show you two of the pencil that you might know already, but by using the strength of um, line with pencil, just like you use with the paintbrush, like a line, whether it's very, very fine and very or thicker, will give you a three-dimensional effect. Just by using, we'll give you tone and so, depth um, by your strength of yeah. mind. Yeah. Sort of like what you okay. do with the lilies? Sure. I know I kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. And that could be from, we send out um, When I was at college, they made us for a whole semester just draw with line and create, create tone with line. I thought it was kind of crazy, but it actually works. You can get tone with just lines. It was her birthday yesterday, so... So, say, for example, with this leaf. Um, I'm going to just take one leaf. So, what I've got is a lighter shape on the top, a darker area here, and a darker area here. So, if I draw that, light, a light, a really faint line, and then as it's coming down, it's getting darker, add more pressure, and then it's getting dark, and then and dark, as it becomes darker, and then it gets lighter, and then it's like a dark stem. So it actually gives you, that strength of line, it gives you a kind of a three dimension, and it gives you tone. Mm -hmm. It's like, like it, it, it starts to give what otherwise you would just go this flat. Yeah. And it kind of looks, it, just, it doesn't look like, it, it kind of like an object. Right, that actually. And this is, you've got that going on here because you've got nice dark areas in there, and you actually can do a dark line and then pale as it's becoming much lighter in there. Mm. I think you can add a little bit of that. You can do it with your paintbrush, but you need, you need a really tight paintbrush. Kind of what you've done in here. Yeah. But also, it would be, because these are so sharp, it's going to be quite nice to get a little bit of definition in there with a pencil. But I would move on to... Uh, yeah, I, I should have set it down. I was holding it like this when I first started. And I should have... Like you said, like, well, sometimes it's good to look at, really look at something. Yeah. Maybe even be out of focus, so what you're looking at is just colour and not... It's very easy to get overwhelmed by something, you know, that's in front of you to paint, because right. there's so much going on. Mm -hmm.